So we're approaching the one year anniversary of Operation Blue Skies, uh, which is basically the reworking of uh, Legends League. Before Operation Blue Skies, the upper leagues were basically an endurance test, similar to how it still is in Titans, but to a much greater extent. Sometimes you had waits of up to 40 minutes before you could find a base. Uh, it was one of the biggest frustrations of the game and uh, it was almost mentioned as much as uh, bring back global. It's not an understatement to say that Operation Blue Sky um, was one of the biggest improvements in game mechanics uh, to Clash of Clans. I'm Mac and in this video I'm going to give you a rundown of everything you need to know about Legends League, why you should be there and also a few things that I think Supercell could do in the one year anniversary to maybe improve it further and make it even better. If you're not subscribed, please do. Why not? Doesn't cost anything, just make a subscription. And just one more thing, I've not been putting out as many videos recently and there's a very good reason for that. I'm now over on Twitch as well and I'm streaming there two or three times a week and we're, what we're doing there is uh, little tournaments and playing around with uh, um, friendly challenge tournaments and uh, they're really good fun. Um, so if you've got a Twitch account then follow me on Twitch, that would be amazing and if you want to take part in the tournaments then uh, the Discord server that's down in the link below um join the discord server and uh take part what you got to lose could be fun so legends league in summary is basically you've got eight attacks a day and you're going to get attacked eight times a day as well but unlike uh previous um leagues where you've got a shield and you can only be attacked when you're offline you can be attacked at any time and so sometimes you can be attacked by more than one person at any one time you, there's 40 cups on offer from every attack and there's also there's a set amount of loot on offer as well but you don't lose loot when you get attacked and um, so you've got no shield and also there's no um a hero uh, recharge either your heroes uh, die in the attack and your cc gets used it doesn't mean that your heroes are then down for when you want to attack so it's a really nice convenient way that when you hit attack you go straight in and you find a base and you get to attack that base straight away okay so why should you be in legends league well basically it's why wouldn't you want to be there it's eight war attacks per day basically you have um max bases so if you're a town hall 13 you're com coming up against uh, max town hall 13s or close to max town hall 13s but all the defenses are up all the heroes are up and there's always a cc there as well so in terms of improving your attacking ability you've basically got an opportunity to do eight more attacks per day so it's brilliant now it is only eight attacks and that's probably the main reason why you maybe wouldn't want to be there. If you're upgrading, you're doing a big, you're doing a lot of upgrades on your heroes, or you're um, you're got enough time to be online for extended periods of time online, um, then you might want to be in Titans League uh, farming and just concentrating on getting your heroes up and all that sort of stuff. If your heroes are upgrading, then they're not available um, in the exact same way as a war attack works. So if you've got lots of heroes down or if you um, are able to get more than eight attacks in a day then you may want to be in titans league or somewhere else instead uh, but if your heroes are all done or even if your heroes aren't done but you only get one or two attacks in a day then when you're able to attack you hit next you attack straight away you know that you've got a guaranteed amount of loot in there as well and that's great so what happens when you make it to legends well you make it to legends you get a little notification up the top here telling that you're now in Legends League, that you've been promoted, and your attack button will change into um, a slightly different function. So you hit attack, and then you see now you've got the option to sign up for Legends League. So that'll take a few minutes to sort out, so we'll do that now. And then that'll go away, and it'll give you an estimated time. Now, you won't get eight attacks on the first day, and that's fine, because you don't have a full day to do the attacks in, all right? So it's going to take 40 minutes for me to connect up, all right? But while... But while we're waiting on that to happen, there's a, there's a couple of things that we can sort out. So, um, you see you've got some tabs up the top here, you've got a battle log, which is blank at the moment, but when that's set in, that'll tell me how I've done throughout the day and also how my defences have done. It gives you a net gain or loss of uh, cups as well. And on this tab, very important, important that you set this as soon as possible. You can choose your base that you're going to use for Legends League. So any of your bases are available. Uh, to use your war bases or your home bases and you bas basically select them by hit and choose and then that'll be the base that is set for you and the same with the cc now to change this 
what you have to do is request a defensive CC. I would go for some max troops if you can. In our clan, obviously, we've got a... Um, you don't normally request max troops, but I think for a CC defense, for a one-off, it's okay to request max. You hit, um, you request that, and then once you've got your CC um, for defense, you then go to choose, and then it allows you to sort out. Now, I've got no troops in my clan castle, so it's not giving me an option. Now, I could use no troops, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep my uh, hound, and, uh, hound and ice uh, combo, because that works quite well. So, we've been away for 40 minutes. The matches have all set up. You see, we've got five matches today. Remember, our normal um, Legends League day is is a uh, um, eight attacks, but uh, we've got five for today. So if you click on uh, Battle Log now, then you can see that we've got our five slots there. So this is our attacks that appear down this left hand side, and our defenses will appear down the right. Really simple, straightforward stuff. And then it'll give you a little net gain at the bottom. So let's do an attack, and uh, you can see how that works. So this is the army I'm going to use. I'm going to use a um, hybrid and probably get it completely wrong. So I'm going to try attack from this side. Just getting a lot of heat straight away. Rage up straight away. Try and get her, uh, try and get the queen to take the chunk of this out. I want her to go in here. If she goes around, then that'll create a bit of a funnel on that side. And then on the other side, just going to keep her raged up. And then at the bottom here, I'm going to send in my blimp. Help her out up there. There we go. And we've got the CC pulled as well, which is what I wanted. I'm going to put another rage down. She's getting really battered. I've got no balloons left, so that's going to be a problem. Just going to send this straight in here. Try and create a bit of a chunk at this side. And that should hopefully clear out a bit of a funnel. Ooh, might not work. My queen got targeted by the by the inferno up there. She's so I don't have much of a funnel on this side. Um, so I'm going to send my king in here with the Royal Champ as well, and I'm going to try and go uh, Hogs and Miners um, on this bomb tower. This is not going well. Not great. Right, okay, let's see if we can get everything to go towards this CC. This is what I'm aiming for. My hogs are going to go slightly to the side, but I think that's just the way it's going to have to be. If I can get a two star here, I'll be happy. Miners are going to get held up there. Let's see if we can get some more 3% around the side here. Oh no, Town Hall has not gone down. Glorious first start. Disaster. So when I finished that attack, I turned the recording device off. I'd had enough. Um, and I'm putting the video, this is the next day, and I'm putting the video together, and I realised that actually it's a bit of a rubbish place to leave it. So you can see that I don't totally suck at the game. I got two three stars after that, and then I went to sleep. So I didn't do all five attacks. Um, in, in the whole, in the one day. But you can see that I got five attacks against me and that left me with a net gain of 38 cups. So I've moved up the league by 38 cups. And so you can see that actually you don't need to use all eight attacks to actually keep progressing um, a fairly steady stream. And as you progress up, your bases will, sl will slowly get harder and harder. Um, and 
and, and more challenging layouts and more maxed bases as well. Uh, so yeah, I just thought that would be a really good example and also just to prove to you that I don't totally suck at this game. So, some improvements that Supercell could make. The, my one frustration with Legends League is that when you hit next, you've got this army that you're wanting to get better at. Maybe it's like a, a Sui, Lalo, or a, or, or a Hog attack, or even sort of like Drag Bat stuff. Um, any of those attacks um, are quite base specific. And that's quite difficult to do when you don't get the opportunity to next. So you hit attack, you go straight to a base and you have to attack it with the army you've got. So being able to have like maybe one or two armies cooked and you could select them before you go in, sort of similar to the way the builder base works. I'm not quite sure. I don't think I want exactly how builder base works, but where you could pick a pre-cooked army and you could select that, and then that was what you're allowed to use for this base. That would be a really nice improvement. I don't know how easy that is to do, but for me, that would be uh, that would be really good. You've got this um, really specific army uh, cooked for a teaser base, and then you come up against a ring base, and there's nothing more frustrating. And you just it's just really difficult to work with. Because what I find is that when you see that people are pushing um in the lower levels where there's lots of ring bases actually people are all using a very similar sort of yeti, bo yeti bowler smash and then as they go higher up they're starting to use more complicated stuff as the bases uh, change and to um move away from an anti two star base to something a bit more complicated so that would be the only improvement that i could see um them making in legends if you disagree you think there's different stuff that they could do to improve legends league then let me know in the comments below that would be amazing so I hope you found the video useful. I hope you are now more encouraged. Um, if you've maybe been a bit hesitant or scared about going up to Legends, you're more encouraged that you can see that if a terrible attacker like me can do it, then anyone can do it. Um, and I hope you found all that information useful. If there's something that I've missed and you want to know about, um, then put it in the comments below and someone will be able to ask, answer it, even if it's not me. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. And remember, nip over to Twitch. Click that follow button on Twitch as well. Let's get all the way to 50 followers on Twitch. If we hit 50 followers, then really interesting stuff starts happening. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching all the way end. See you later. Cheers. Thanks.